Welcome to another exciting week of WTOB Dodgeball Game of the Week along with the Money Man. Is that right? This That's week? me, yeah. Jed Castro. I'm always the Money Man. I'm Tom Booth. And tonight, Jed, two teams who are uh, not the best in the league, but certainly have potential to make some waves. Well, we got Hobbs, a team that we've seen a long time, Tom, uh, led by Russell Drumheller and our team, Evergrid. Uh, not not very uh, good team in terms of record, but they're going to be good tonight. Well, grab your friends. It might be time to grill out and watch the Dodgeball Game of the Week on WTOB. Well, we're going to get ready for action here between Hobbs and Evergrid. Hobbs are one of the middle, middle pack teams in the Blacksburg Parks and Rec Department standings. Evergrid struggling a little bit, but hopefully they can come through with a couple of wins tonight. And Tom Booth, uh, let me guarantee you, let me say right now, you throw the records out because we know this Hobbs team, uh, once led by the brothers Drumheller and uh, now led by Russell Drumheller, the lone uh, Ranger, but uh, we know that this team is experienced. This team is very good. Uh, Austin's going to take a seat for uh, Pops, but uh, right away, Russell Drumheller also firing away and uh, putting uh, the Jason Kidd that took a seat. And now Curtis Dawn's also taking a seat, as well as Mike Hefner for Evergrid. And quickly, there is one person left left for uh, Evergrid, and that would be Brian Marshall. Brian so Marshall for Evergrid, the near court, the last man standing. Last man no longer stand. I guess he will be the lone, uh, well, one of the men sitting for Evergrid. As uh, after that performance, we might understand why they're uh, struggling in the standings. As Hobbs takes game one on the dodgeball game of the week, only on WTOB. Well, we're back for uh, game two after an extended break on the other court. A long game going on. But for you uh, watching on television or on the internet, uh, you have no clue how long that break was. It's the exact same amount of time. It seemed like an eternity for us. I know that. Mm. You'll forgive uh, my partner, Tom Booth. He's uh, got a bit of a tickle in the stroke, but we are underway. Game two between Hobbs and Evergrid. Evergrid, the team in the far court now, and uh, as quickly as the game began, Curtis Dawn will be sitting down along with Mike Hefner. Nevergrid starting only with five players, already down to two. You may know this team as Turtle Fist from a year ago. I guess they decided to go uh, without the creative name and just go with the name of the company that they work for. I wonder if that's in the CRC. That's a good guess, Tom. A uh, new face for uh, Hob the Hobbs team is uh, Glennon, wearing the white shirt and the white shorts and those blue Pumas. Not sure if that's approved uh, league wear. That's right. Talking during the break with uh, the captain of the Hobbs team, Russell Drumheller, as uh, Jason Kidd takes a seat. <coughs> Talking about how uh, this team, you're used to seeing two Drumheller brothers on the court. They thought about changing their name to the Matt Drumheller Memorial Team, as Matt is uh, overseas, but hopefully. Matt, you're watching uh, as you're uh, overseas in Germany, watching on the internet, interweb. As we like to call it. We miss you, Matt, if you're watching. Need to see you out on the court here at the Blacksburg Rec Center. Back to the action here. We've got, uh, looks like Brian Marshall, the last man standing again, and uh, he's gonna take out, uh, who is that? Ben Taylor's gonna take a seat. Good old Ben Taylor. Austin Phoenix, the man with two city names, firing away the black shirt there, but Brian Marshall loading up. And look at that, he's gonna bait them with a uh, ball. That's a uh, strategy we haven't seen before, I like that. He's baiting them and then backing up the fire. Andrew Showalter's gonna take that ball. Thank you very much, sir. Austin Phoenix also taking the shot, but let's see if he tries it again. Uh, Brian Marshall may be going with a different strategy this time. Nope. He's going to do it again. Once again. He's going to bait them in. And Andrew Showalter, is he going to take the bait? No, he will not. Glenn Dietrich, does he want it? No. The ball's just going to sit there. He fires at Austin Phoenix. He's lasted a pretty good time, though. He definitely, you know, he's got the uh, yeah. long socks on, the sweatband, and the headband, but not enough. Not enough this time as uh, Hobbs takes game two of this match. Tough game there for Evergrid. He tried and Brian Marshall lasted as long as he could, but this wasn't enough. Can't really do it all by yourself most games. As Hobbs takes two to love lead in the dodgeball game of the week. On WTOB.